I'll have the technical specs for this TV stand as well as the other stuff I built available at the end of the video if you want to skip to that. My travel trailer needed a couple of shelves so I made this, this little TV stand. I also made it mounted, sound bar, and then it won't fall over when I transport it so I don't have to find somewhere to hide the TV every single time we move. At this point I laid out everything on a three quarter inch plywood for the horizontal surfaces as well as the vertical surface that's holding the TV. Everything else was done on half inch plywood. For this project I'm using liquid nails for two reasons. One, I'm doing with this, these cuts with the skill saw so they're not exactly perfect. They're pretty close, but liquid nails fills in the gaps a lot better. And for two, it's cold out here and I'm putting them in a trailer so it's going to be exposed to hot and cold. And I think that the liquid nails will do a lot better. I think I made all the necessary corrections and measurements to this. So I need to drill a hole there and a hole there to hold the sound bar. I need to drill four holes here to hold the TV. I got a couple of marks right here for uh, for routing out a channel for some cords, some cables. This is an HDMI cable. This is a power cable, so I'm going to router out a channel there so that everything will sit flush. Back here you can see here's the bolts for the sound bar, down below are some for the TV. I also put these cork stoppers there so when we're right driving down the road it won't rub off this wallpaper. I want to keep this as, uh, you know, mint condition as possible. made this little stand so the keyboard can slide in there it's all notched out that's mostly because I made it too small by mistake I made a mistake this box is too narrow to fit a keyboard in what I'm doing is a keyboard down here so I can mount the computer over at the top so I can have a little more shelf space but it's not wide enough so I went with the skill saw ripped this down the center ripped about a quarter inch off and now I gotta hand saw that out there I go anyways computer sits on top of it Got the sound bar mounted. This goes all the way up. It's not actually mounted to the trailer, but it's all the way up. Got the DVD player. And all my DVDs underneath. And the Nintendo. The DVD happens to be seven and a half inches tall by five and a quarter inches wide. So what I did on this is I made it a little bit bigger added about a half an inch. It's about an eight inches tall for these support beams. And then I, I pushed it back. I gave it about an extra three inch or two inches, I think. I think it was seven inches deep. That way I can fit all my Blu-rays and DVDs and still have room to put a finger in to, you know, pull it out. This sound bar is a Samsung sound bar. It, it's about two years old. I think you can still buy the same one. It's fairly cheap. It's like 120 bucks or something. But it was perfect for this situation. The screw holes that to mount this are 15 and a half inches wide, and I'm not sure why they did that. Typically, you'd go about 16 inches, so you could mount everything into a stud. But that's how they built this one: 15 and a half inches wide from center of the hole to center of the hole for these mounting brackets. This is two inches tall. 
So, and the, the hole is exactly in the middle of the sound bar when you're spacing it. I left a little gap here because I don't want this thing vibrating and rubbing on the TV. But from down where you're going to be viewing it, it looks like it's actually part of the TV almost. This shelf was, was it eight and three quarter inches plus another three quarter inch because of this board that runs along the back that this shelf butts into. It was determined by just by this uh, Blu-ray player. That's how I got the depth of it. And then I added a half of an inch so it would hang over a, a little bit. TV here is a Sony Bravia 43 inch. There's four bolts, four inches apart, eight inches vertically apart. They're M6 bolts. We'll screw right into there. I got these ones about an inch and a quarter deep so that I could go through the plywood on the back and then right in the TV, you know, a fair amount so it doesn't rattle loose. And then she said, do you recognize this place? And I said, yeah, I've been here before. <laughs> <laughs>